Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. It's me, Michael, and JC. Yes, and we are going to be doing our K through fifth class again. This is our last one, JC, or at least until we actually have worship where everybody gets to go to the building. So I don't know what we're gonna do after this week, but this is officially our last week as, you know, we're not gonna get to see each other. Are we gonna do something exciting? I think this is exciting. This is, it's not quite making a sword or making a shield, but it is making something pretty cool, I think. And today we're going to be talking about the 10 commandments. We're gonna make a tablet of stone. It's not really stone. Right? It's foil. Well, yeah, foil is one of the, the things. And what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about the 10 commandments and why they're important. And then we're going to, um, to make a tablet and put the Ten Commandments on that. Uh, so let's talk about the things we're going to need before we get into the story. A cereal box is the best way to do it, for, in my opinion, right? It has nothing in it right now. Yeah, it has nothing it in it. You don't want it, the cereal to be in. That would be kind of awkward. I mean, you can put stuff in there if you want. That's, <laughs> that's, that's your thing, you know? You could even make a bank out of it for all I care. You know, just put a little hole at the top. That, that's, that's up to you. That would be fun. Yeah, it would be fun. And then... Um, so you need a cereal box and we're going, and then you need a plate. I'm gonna tell you why you need a paper plate uh, in a minute. And you are not gonna necessarily use it in terms of making it part of the Ten Commandments, but it's, we're gonna use it as a measuring tool. Uh, we also need a shot at B. A shot at B. A shot at B. Can you roll your tongue? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we can do that. Okay, you need some just regular old tape. We're not gonna use a fancy tape this time. I know it's fun to rip the tape, but we're not going to do that. And then, whoop, scissors. <laughs> Excuse me. And then the last thing we're going to need is aluminum foil. Now, you can use aluminum foil. You can also use uh, gray construction paper, but that's a little harder. Or gray tape or aluminum tape, you know that. Yeah, shiny. but I mean, that's, then you're getting all strips and stuff. And, and, and you know, instead of one solid piece, you could also use tempera paint and, and gray paint, but that's messier. So yeah. to me, aluminum foil is just faster and it's easier. easier. You know, we used it for our project last week with the yes. shield and it's just, it's a great material. You know, it's not super expensive. So, uh, so let's get to the story. But you don't want to use too much. No, you don't want to use too much. Uh, the story is found in Exodus 20 and it's, it starts off the Lord speaking to the children of Israel through Moses and uh, Moses is given, he goes up to this mountain and he's given these commandments that God used his own hand to write, right? And uh, Moses brings them down. Now, we won't get into the story after this, but Moses actually finds them doing some bad things, worshiping a golden idol and he throws them and they break and then he has to get some more, you know, because it's not like you can just go to the 10 commandments store and get more, right? They were worshiping a golden calf. They were worshiping a golden calf. But we won't get into that story. Yeah. We're, we're going to stick with it. That's Ten a different story. Yeah, yeah. So, but the Ten Commandments, uh, some people call it the Decalogue. That's the, the official name. Well, Decalogue, everyone. But the Ten Commandments were basically all commands about two things. About how to treat God. And, and how, how not to. Well, how not to. But well, also how to treat your neighbor, right? treat other people so it's how to treat how to treat God and how to treat other people in different relationships that you have uh, your parents your spouse you know your wife your husband uh, your your neighbor uh, everybody that was important to you brother and sister brother and sister etc etc you know so remember do not kill your brother it's very important Jason, that is right? very wait why, why did you say specifically my brother? Uh, nothing. I'm just, I'm just, a, just an example, right? Just an example. You said my brother. My, my brother. I have two my brother. sisters. That's right. Well, you know. Um, so in, in Exodus 20, the Lord speaks these words. He says, I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. And then he goes right into it. You shall have no gods before me, no other gods before me. That means you cannot worship anybody else but me. And there were all sorts of gods in Egypt. There were all sorts of gods in Canaan. And he said, you are not to worship any of those other gods, only me. And they often worship more than one god. That's yeah. kind of weird to us. That is. But, but in that time, in that era, there were a lot of different gods. 
The second uh, commandment is, You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. Basically, don't make something that resembles some kind of God that you worship, right? Don't worship an idol. That's what they call an idol. Um, for the Lord is a jealous God, and it kind of goes on a little bit about that. The next one is, you shall not uh, misuse or you shall not speak the Lord's name in vain. That means to say, you know, God, and then say something bad afterwards, or, or just to... to say, oh my God, without really talking to God, you know. Of course, I didn't use the Lord's name in vain. I'm using it as an example, but you, yeah. you get the point. Yeah, right? yeah, I know. You don't just treat it lightly, like, like it's just something you say. Um, the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. You, God's, you know, we need to be serious with the name of God. It's a holy name. It's not something we joke about. The next one is, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. So, uh, like on Saturday... Yeah, it was Saturday at that time. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your son nor daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals. Your animals couldn't work. In other words, you couldn't walk, work the oxen, like oh, I was on like, the fields, yeah, or the horses, second. yeah. They can't move. Yeah, the the Bill the dog says, well, I guess I don't want them to work today. You know, so I don't know. Yeah. That's Bill the dog's voice. So dogs could talk. And then it said, for it said, for in six days the Lord God made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. You know, day seven, God rested that in heaven. We call that in Genesis. And that the on the first seventh day, day the Lord rested. The first day so was work. actually Sunday. Yeah, the first the day of the first day of the week was Sunday, and that's when, and when the disciples the came together and to break bread, and when Jesus rose from the dead, and you know, now it's when we worship God. So we don't really keep the Sabbath. That was a Jewish custom, but it's it still is important to get a day of rest, right, Jason? Yes. I mean, yeah. I mean, I never take naps, but I go to sleep. Yes, absolutely, you do go to sleep, and that's a good thing. You need your sleep. Uh, the next one says, "Honor your father and mother, so you may live long in the land of the Lord your God is giving you." See that? Do what I say, and you live a long life. Isn't that it? That's it's the first yes. commandment with promise is what's what we're told in the new testament uh, then it says you shall not murder jesus went so far as to say you shall not hate your brother right you commit a murder in your heart if you hate your brother you shall not commit adultery now basically it says you shall be faithful to your spouse you know for the for your whole life be faithful to your husband and your wife right uh, you shall not steal now, that's pretty self-explanatory but yeah, like, think even small not. things right yeah even small things. Even don't like take, a penny. Don't take what's not yours. Don't cheat, yeah. right? Don't don't try to take something that's not yours. Uh, you shall not uh, give false testimony against your neighbor. Now, what that meant is don't say, well, my neighbor did this to try to get something away from them, or steal something from them or whatever, yeah. you know, or, or lie about what someone did, spread a gossip or rumor about someone. He says, don't, don't say something false uh, against your neighbor for your for your benefit or whatever, for any reason. And then the last one is you shall not covet. Now, covet means to want what somebody else has. Like you have a tape dispenser, and I have a Sharpie, and I'm like, I want that, but the, specifically that thing. Yeah, to say that I want Michael's, I want uh, you know, my dad's tape. tape. You can't have it. But it's not to not to want something you don't have, in other words, to, that somebody else has. And, to be jealous because they have it. So, Ten Commandments. Now, this is what the final product is going to look like, basically. You can do it two, one of two ways. You can do two cereal boxes, and that way you can do like this and have the, you know, they have the whole... Like five on each one? Yeah, you can do that. You can do it front and back if you want. Uh, I did it, and, and you may not be able to do this because it's kind of hard. I did all the commands on one side, so you can read them all. So... You see that? That's all the different commands written in order. And, um, you know, it, it's not the fanciest looking thing in the world, but it gets the point across, and it's kind of cool, you know. You could literally make it a piggy bank if you want to. You could. You could cut a hole in the top and make it a piggy bank or and then, whatever. And then when you want to get your savings, that would be smashed. I'm just kidding. You could use it as Wait, bookends too, don't right? People you do that with but you'd have to put something like rocks in it or something you know, to keep it heavy. 
Do what? Don't people put like, don't people destroy their piggy banks to get it open? They do, but it would be real easy to open and close this. You just poke a hole in it, go like this, empty it out, and then put another piece of foil over it and start over. Yeah. So easy peasy. All right, so peasy. we're going to go ahead and start making our uh, Ten Commandments. Now what we do, this is what I did. You get your plate like this, where it's touching the top part here where the and you mark it and you mark it just like that you want to make sure it's even you know so is it even uh probably not let's let's do it again it's okay because if you mess up you can still just cut out the part there we go that's better okay now you're going to turn it around and do the same thing put it at the top right here you, you make sure that the plate is kind of even on either side because you want you even. want a clean line, right? On either side. Otherwise it's gonna be all all wonky. This line you like that word wonky? Yeah. No, I think I think it's, let's let's fix it a little How bit on the side. I already have Sharpie on me. Well, you know, Sharpie can be very messy. Maybe messy it's paint. Sharpie. I don't know. No, well you have been playing we are today we are at my mom's house jc and the other grandkids call her joe mama joe mama. mama and uh so the next thing i'm gonna let you do this jc is you're gonna cut across here and you're gonna cut across here wait is that and the best way to do it is to start from here and cut like this just be careful not to go don't too put far your finger in there yeah like that would be this. bad Whoa, 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 you want to go a little further, about right there, a little bit more, okay, okay, now you turn it around, there you go, ah. just be careful that you stay in the line, you don't want to cut it off, you know, there we go, very carefully, I actually broke the scissors, some other scissors, some other pair of scissors when I was trying to do a project, JC, the scissor breaker, Okay, now you didn't quite get it. You want it. You want to cut that little part off too. See, she's making the shape of the the tablet. Okay, that'll work. Okay. Now start on this I side. I think this isn't as even as this side. It's okay. It, it, the great thing is the aluminum foil can hide a lot of the unevenness or whatever. Yes. So go oh, careful, careful. Ooh. You want to do the 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 inside the top line, not the bottom line. The top line, there we go. Ow. There we go. Okay, now go ahead and cut these sides off here. Just a straight line across. There you go, and on the other side. Sure, that's that look even. That's pretty even. Pretty even, yeah. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. Uh, oh, oh, look, we gotta cut oh, that. No. Off oh no! Oh no! Let's cut that down. There you go. Cut the little triangle off. Yeah. Okay. I'm up, that kind of looks like a piece of pizza. <laughs> pizza, pizza. Don't eat it. Don't. Do not eat that. That fake pizza piece. It's very tempting. <laughs> I don't even know why. Okay. All right. So, what we're going to do next, uh, this one's, let's, uh, let's fix, let's trim this a little bit. Yeah. You know what? This line might be the right line. <laughs> da, 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 da. Wah, wah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, that was the right line. line. Okay. All right. So, the next thing, we're going to get our aluminum foil. Parents aren't gonna like me because they've been using aluminum foil twice in a row. Probably used all your aluminum foil up. All right, so you are kind of kind of treated like a present, JC, where you you want to wrap the whole thing. But here's the important thing about using aluminum foil for the Ten Commandments: you want to make sure it's as straight as possible, and that you don't have a lot of the wrinkles. the wrinkles. You can't help but having some wrinkles. I mean, it is a piece of stone, right? Like a shiny stone. So, but we want to try to eliminate as much of that. So, we want to make sure that it's going to be enough to cover both sides all the way across like this. 
here. And we're not gonna worry about the top right now because we're gonna use a strip to cut that. So JC, I want you to make sure that it's all the way covered. Okay. Okay, and then cut, cut uh, work straight across starting about right here. You're gonna draw a line, okay, that'll work. Okay, so just cut, cut a straight line right here. Thank you, Joe Mama, for letting us use this craft table. And we're in the, the playroom that they just recently got together. The kids going and playing. Pretty exciting place. All right. Very exciting. So look, there's little little pieces. We have these little hanging pieces. We gotta deal with them. Okay, so fold it out as neatly as you can. Now one side. One side is going to be like this, and then you just kind of fold it up, and then do the other side. And then we're going to get a piece of, a long piece of tape. And we're going to... This long? Might be a little too long, but we'll, we can play. Is that a long? That is very long. Okay. Tape is our best friend, isn't it? Yeah. We've used it in the past two, three, all of the crafts. Pretty much. We know, not the puppet ones. The puppet, the puppet one we did. Yeah. That's how we did. No, Hot Glue was our friend in that one. Hot Glue was our friend. And I think I had burnt fingers. I think I gave up on the Hot Glue after that. Yeah. So we're going to cool make sure that it's kind yeah. of... I don't want to waste this tape, so I'm just going to use the tape. Cut it off. Use the scissors, not the tape. Yeah, use the tape to cut the tape. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It does make so much okay. sense. Okay. I'm so sorry. All right, so let's, see, let's go ahead and fold this over. That's probably long enough to fit this side, too. Yeah. Recycling, it's important. That's right. Very important. You never want to run out of tape. That's the worst thing, right? It is. I hate when tape folds over. Like, and this might be something you get your parents to help you with, unless you can handle, unless you're a master tape user, you know. Yeah, Daisy, you could have probably done this. But. Yeah, just in case. I like, well, the thing is, a lot of times, I'll show JC how to do it, and then JC, you can do it better than me after that. And then you just kind of push the corners to, to make sure the shape is nice and even. Okay, so make this sure side, it's good enough to be a the, piggy bank. the best way to do this side to me is to just fold it over and push it in like this. We're folding it over and we're pushing it in so it's nice and even. And you don't even have to take the top really because we're going to Put a piece straight across here to cover it, okay? okay? Now, really, here's the thing, and this isn't really something I did, but let's say you want to make this like a little decorative piece. If you had something to hold it down at the bottom, you could actually like put paper or something in it, you know, or folders or whatever. So you could leave the top open if you want. Or when you put the piece, like we said, you can put a little hole, you make it a piggy bank, but you need something to hold the bottom down. Or to put some weight in it or something, you know. But for now, we're just going to show you all how to close it off. Okay, so, JC, we're just going to get a piece that make sure that it's long enough. You need to cut it. And, yes, and what I want you to do is I just want you, this piece is a little uneven, so we want to be careful. But cut a piece and make sure that it's got to be tall enough. So you, you want it to be about, about, this tall, just mm -hmm. reaching over just a little bit, and make sure it's straight. And you just get, cut a straight piece. Not, not, not before. About there you go. About there, yeah. So cut that piece there. Make sure it's straight. Oh, you're you're veering off a little bit. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Now cut. Start cutting there. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay. Alright, so. Yeah, just, just 
fold this over here. To get some more tape. Yep. And again, you want to kind of push it over. You just want to have a nice shape so that it's clear. And once once you get it here, you just kind of fold it over. And that helps when you're taping it. To keep it okay. All right. So go ahead and put that tape there. There we go. Put the tape on there. Okay, so do the next part. Is this too long? No, I don't think so. It's okay. It's okay. Let's figure it out. Okay, and then get a few little pieces just to, just to make sure it's nice and Probably on knows. the sides. Yeah, put this, take the sides. Make my chair. Little piece there. Yeah. It's happening. Mm, the tape jog has come in. Do you have any issues? Let me help you with that. <laughs> You're the expert tape ripper. Expert After tape ripper. All. all right. That's a real thing. We didn't make up. Totally. Okay, you put that on there. There we go. Okay, now yeah. we've got our basic shape. So now, JC, all that's left is to write the letters. Now, right. let's go ahead and, yeah, you can use this as a reference. Yeah. Now, JC, what I did, let me show you all at the camera. I use Roman numerals. It's I, 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 V, 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 I, V, I, I, V, I, 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 and then uh, I, X, and X. Are you speaking gibberish? <laughs> I don't know. No, no. This is I means one. Two I's is two, three I's is three, IB is four, B is five, BI is six, BII is seven, BII is eight, IX is nine, and X is ten. X stands for ten, B stands for five. That's Roman numerals, if you didn't know. Huh. So you want to start at the top as much as you can. Make sure that you have plenty of room for all the commandments if you're going to put them on one page. And then IV come, is number four. There you go. Keep going. You're doing good. Um, so... V, then after... and then the next one is V. Yeah. There you go. And then V, I. I know this from Star Wars. <laughs> from Star Wars. And then V, I, I. Now the I needs to, to be on the top line. Mm -hmm. See, it's just a, a stick. And then V I. Yeah, three eyes. V I. I I I. I. And then put your line. There you go. Boop. And then I X. I X. X. And then X at the bottom. Okay. X. Now, you can say this however you want. Uh, no other gods, in other words, do not have any other gods before me. No idols, uh, do not create uh, idols. Number three, do not take God's name in vain. There's no short way to do that. Because, you know, you don't have a lot of room here. If you have two, you can have a little more room for stuff. Number four, keep the Sabbath. That means that you want to do it every uh, seventh day. You don't do any work. The animals don't do work, etc., cetera, et cetera. Then uh, honor your father, honor your parents, honor your father and mother. Remember that one, JC. Just saying. No, she's good. Uh, Bi is at six. Do not murder. Number seven, no adultery. In other words, stay faithful. That's good. Do not have it. Show the camera. Don't show me. You know. Show show the kids at home. And then um, do not steal. No false witness. That means don't lie about what somebody said or did to, to try to get them in trouble. And then number ten, do not covet. Don't don't want what somebody else has. All right. So Jace is going to go ahead and finish this up. Why don't we show them what we're doing, and you can finish this up, so we can go ahead and close up our deal. But this is what they're going to look like, and then you can do the Moses thing, you know, the Charlton Heston Moses thing. So. 
Ten Commandments, obey them. But this is only two commandments right yeah, now. Yeah, she's, she's working on the others. But anyways, that's how to do the Ten Commandments. I hope you guys will do that at home and will enjoy it. And just remember to always listen to what God has to say because God does give us rules to follow so that we know what's right what's wrong and how to, to love him and to do what's right to him and uh, with other people too. All right, JC. Well, JC's going to finish up and I hope you all will finish up too. And we will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.